Hello everyone, this is YouTube Media, and I'm really excited to tell you we are going to be unboxing, reviewing, and testing out the Cyborg Rat 9 wireless mouse. This is the sequel to the Rat 7 mouse, but it's now wireless, unlike the previous models, which is a huge uh, upgrade. It's an extremely high performance gaming mouse, you've most likely heard of this series. Now this is also one of the best packaged products I've ever seen, not just the graphics, but look at all the unique architecture of the shaping of the box and check this out we have a magnetic fold-out door on the front with some visuals of the uh, specifications and a preview window I definitely don't think I'll be throwing this box away so let's go ahead and get into this and uh, open up this box Alright, so here's what's inside the package. We have the metal storage box. This has our interchangeable pinky rests, weights, and palm rests. It's all really nicely packaged in this foam moldings. We're going to get to that later. Also, is the software and it comes with a quick manual inside of it. This software is really important. It'll let you program the button commands and we will be looking at this later on the computer. Also right here, it comes with uh, two batteries. So you can charge one while using the other. And this is the unique receiver, which is also the battery charger at the same time. So you take one of the batteries, and it'll just charge like that. And while you're using the other one, this can charge. And this is also acting as the receiver. It's got a nice sleeve wire, and it's just as unique looking as the mouse is. And here is the Rat 9 itself. The Rat 9 is the sequel to the Rat 7 and is the newest of the Rat series as far as 2010. The Rat 7 was 5600 DPI and the Rat 9 here is 5600 DPI also but it's now wireless. Now a lot of gamers would prefer a wired mouse they might say because of latency issues but this Rat 9 here has zero latency 2.4 gigahertz wireless so you don't have to worry about that. The material, as far as the material, it's really smooth rubber, feels like suede almost, and it, so it won't be leaving any fingerprints also. The bottom of it is like a metal frame for the body, and there's also gliding pads so it won't slow you down, and this is the power button here, and the optical sensor. Now the screwdriver is how you uh, customize a lot of the features on this mouse. It's very, this is a huge bonus. The screwdriver is with you the whole time in the mouse. This is it right here. You could say it's like the tail of the rat if you want. And it's not in your way either. It's very nicely designed into the mouse. You can actually use the um, rat mouse at the same time without the screwdriver also. You can use it just the same without the screwdriver like that. And then this is also where your weights go, so it's also holding in your weights. So we're going to go ahead and show you the weights. You just screw off this second top here. And there you go, the spring comes off. And you have 45 grams of re removable and changeable weights with the RAT9. The RAT7 only had 30 grams. I'm going to go ahead and show you. Uh, right now you can see there are five weights here, but as I showed you in the storage box, there is this cartridge and this has two additional weights or you can put all of them in here so you can add more weights to it if you want to make it heavier or you can uh, remove some to make it lighter depending on your preferences now the next thing we're going to get onto is the thumb rest so this is the thumb rest right here you have your forward and back button this red button is actually the precision aim button to give an example when you're doing sniping let's say you press this to slow down the mouse movement now let me go ahead and show you, this actually moves forward and backwards, inwards and outwards. So first of all, this one's going to be hard to notice because it goes really slow. You twist this and if you can see it's actually moving forward, so depending on your hand size or your preference. Now another thing is you can pull it outwards. Down there there's a little screw. What we're going to do is just twist that to loosen it up. There you go, you can now see it moves inwards, outwards. Let's get on to the top. The top here has a metal scroll wheel on the side. There's also a scroll wheel at the front which also clicks. There's the left and right click. The rocker switch to adjust the DPI goes up and down which is programmable via uh, the software. Um, also right here this is the mode button lights up and changes color right here. There's a little LED light. This will change color depending on your modes. This is all programmable via the software. Now this is the palm rest here. You actually, to pull the palm rest out, this is also customizable. You're just going to squeeze this button here. You want it longer, maybe your hand's really big. Push it a little more. So it has multiple different levels you can pull it out to. Now to completely change it, we just pull it out. It comes with two different palm rests also. So let's say I want this one. This one has more of like a rubber grip, which would be really handy. Let's try that one. Just going to slide it right back on. 
There we go. And there, ta -da. there you go. We, so we just um, changed out the palm rest. There's three different ones. So this is really easy to use too. You just press that button and you can adjust the length or completely change them. Let's go ahead and look at the pinky rest. This is the pinky rest. Um, this is also changeable. Uh, you can't change it inwards or outwards or anything like that, but you can completely change the pinky rest. This is a really great feature because I think a lot of people will have what gamers will call, um, I believe it's called pinky drag. Uh, when your pinky is dragging, when you're moving the mouse, well, you don't have to worry about that because once you unscrew this, we go, pull this out, and we have two other pinky. We use the this one right here. This one will prevent your pinky from dragging. There we go, just like that, and you now have it to hold up your pinky, so you have no problem with it. It's not going to drag your pinky anymore. You also have your thumb being held up off the ground. They both have rubber pads. There you go. That's perfect. And then you also have one more pinky rest if you want to change it to that one. So that's about it as far as customizing. Uh, let's go ahead and install the software and give it a run. All right, so I went ahead and installed the RAT9 software. Just pop in the disk, follow the setup wizard, and the RAT9 icon will appear in the system tray. It's hard to miss, it's the coolest icon in the system tray. You can just double click it or right click it and click profile editor. This is what will pop up. This is a great user interface for this software. It's also very easy to figure out. So we're just gonna at the top click settings. Immediately you can adjust the DPI right here for individual X or Y axis, or you can do both. You can just adjust it like that or grab the red bar to do both, make them even. Now these modes over here, that is the four modes that I showed you on the mouse, the four LED uh, lights for the rocker switch that you press up and down to adjust the DPI while you're gaming. So you can set the DPI, so you can actually adjust it while you're in the middle of gaming and it'll be uh, set to the default DPI that you set in the software. This is the precision aim, so you can set the percentage for the mouse speed to decrease when you press the red precision aim button. I'm just going to leave it right there at 50%. Up at the top we can click programming. This is where you get to program your mouse. You can do the front, uh, the front controls or we can press this and check out the back, uh, change the sensitivity. We're going to do the front where all the buttons are. So let's just say we want to change the thumb scroll wheel. We press it click here and then you're just going to type the button on your keyboard that you want this uh, uh, to ch program this button for. So let's just say the letter P. When I pr uh, scroll this scroll wheel I want it to type the letter P. You can also, let's just say we do that. Okay, we click the green check. Okay. Now what's going to happen is you can save this uh, profile. You can activate it or we can just go ahead and test it. So I'm going to press test. And when it comes up, watch what happens. I'm going to move the scroll wheel on my RAT9. And there you go. Every time it twists, the letter P appears. So that's what it's going to look like. And you can, of course, program all the different buttons to however you want to. And there are three modes. So you can set three profiles of settings for three different people or for yourself, depending on the games you're playing, maybe different settings for different games. Also, there's a battery indicator at the top. It gives you the percentage of battery life left. So right now, I have 56%. So that's about it. It's really easy to program to change the settings. User interface is great. Now, as far as where the battery goes, this is actually really easy. It's down here on the right side. This is the battery compartment. You just insert the battery like that. And you just got to push it in a little bit. And there you go. So the battery's now in. And there you go, that is the review of the RAT9 wireless gaming mouse made by Cyborg. This is not a good gaming mouse, this is the best gaming mouse I've ever seen personally. As far as everything from the performance, the features, design, architecture, I have no complaints about this mouse. Or should I say, no complaints about this RAT. Even if you're not into gaming, this is an excellent mouse to have, it's the best mouse you could have to show off with. So make sure to check out all the links in the video description below. So just remember, the RAT is better than the mouse. Wow. <laughs>